a nice low income duplex like what you're looking at right here complete with the couch in the front yard can actually make out of state investors like you a lot of money let's dive in this is your show this is the show where i work for you directly taking your needs i'm going through the mls and i'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys put down 25 percent. that's the perfect way to buy this that's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world hey folks welcome to another episode of the mls search analysis show you're watching holton wise tv i'm your boy james wise i'm the guy you work with when you choose to work with holton wise to start build grow your real estate portfolio so i am working with my client uh, michelle real estate investor from california michelle just got done doing a duplex for you. This is another duplex uh, that I think is going to be of big interest to you. And here's the thing. This duplex, as far as like the rental amount and like, you know, the cash flow, it's going to kick off over the long haul. Very, very similar, uh, if not identical to the previous property. But we are going to try to acquire it in a completely different strategy, different manner. I wanted to give you several ideas to compare and contrast, right? Because where you're at, you have, uh, you're working, right? You're working as a book uh, bookkeeper for a very large, uh, wealthy real estate developer, okay? And this guy has uh, lent you $75,000 to get your career started, right? So I gave you one option. Uh, earlier today, okay, that's uh, pulling out the burr, right? So you're going to spend all 75 all at once and then pulling it out slowly, doing the refinance within the first year or two, okay? Here's another option where we go in and we buy something. We don't do any repairs, but we just utilize some of the funds that he's lent you as your down payment, okay? This is one of the highest cash flow producing properties I can find for you. Remember when I did that quad for you a week or so ago, you said, I'm looking for more cash flow. I want more bang for the buck, right? So we go to these risk your neighborhoods the cd neighborhoods right <laughs> you will get things like you know the couch just chilling <laughs> in the front yard just chilling on the uh chilling on the sidewalk there but you know that's uh as part of the game when you're when you're buying in these neighborhoods you even got uh right here this is pretty cool we got some little uh trees or weeds or whatever growing out of the gutter you know, growing on the side of the porch there, you know, that's that's part of the game, right? That's that's what we do. That's that's part of investing in these type neighborhoods, okay? Unfortunately, these are all the photos we've got. Uh, but it's actually for a good reason, right? Because this particular property is fully occupied. Now, as far as the rent roll goes, just like the other one, we have long-term rents of 750 and 600. One's a 2-1, the other is a 1-1. One, one. So this thing long-term is going to bring in 1350. That's 16,200 a year. The numbers are very similar, right? Of the 1350, I anticipate you spending around half, 670, leaving you with an average monthly NOI of 680 or 8160, okay? Now, of course, that's average, Michelle. You've been watching my show for a very long time. You understand the game. You know that not every property is going to perform the same. Not every property is going to perform the same every month, not every year, not every five years, right? There are a lot of variables here, and I'm sure you're also aware of that being someone who works for a big-time real estate developer, okay? But in addition to that NOI of 8160, note that I've got 804 saved away for you. That's money going back to you on top of what I'm considering your profit for you to spend on future capital expenditures future vacancy and not payment future repairs and maintenance okay now as far as where we're at today though right i said it's occupied unfortunately it's not occupied at market rents right they want seventy thousand dollars for this and i don't even know if i gave you the address yet 2142 west 105th right it's been on the market over a month 45 days now if this was listed at seventy five or seventy thousand like it is, and they were getting the market rents of seven fifty and six hundred, they would have sold this some bitch in a day. They're not though. They have two uh, month to month tenants paying four seventy and five hundred, right? So I do not want you to try to do like a burr strategy or remove these tenants. I want you to slowly work your way up. Are you a lender? If so. Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. To where we're trying to get, right? Because even 
at what it's currently bringing in here, this 970 a month, it will still cash flow, right? Because my my cost expenses are lower, right? My cost expenses are 670, so it's still going to cash flow. So there's no rush here, right? Now, I think we can get a discount, right? Because, uh, well, number one, if, if it was the market rents, it would have sold within a day. It hasn't sold within a day. Been on the market 45 days. So let's try to weasel a little bit more money out of that seller. Let's try to pick this up at 65 k But I don't want you to do a cash deal or anything. I just want you to get your own loan utilizing some of that 75 k your, uh, your financial backer lent you. I want you to put down 16250 of the money he lent you. Get yourself a 30-year loan for 48750 from a traditional bank. And then... Once you get yourself all the way up to market rent, that's like a 35.1% cash on cash return. And how do we get you up to market rent? Well, I want to do it slow, Michelle. I don't want to do it right now, right? Look, these people, they ain't going to go somewhere else in these neighborhoods around here and find a one bedroom for 470. It ain't going to happen, right? So they know they're getting a deal. Now, right now, today, in the middle of COVID, where evictions, you know, are a big problem, is that the day you want to increase the rent? Probably not, right? But maybe six months from now, hey guys, six months from now, the, the guy at 470, bump him up to five. The person at 500, bump them up to 550. Hopefully they stay. Then the next year we'll do, you know, again, keep going up slowly. Bring in that money, right, and slowly slowly increase that rent, right? We don't want to create artificial turnover, right? You're going to lose more money creating that artificial turnover than you're losing by not getting your market rents, right? This could be a notch in your belt like this one, unlike the previous one where you could do that deal, but you can't do another deal until you cash out. This one you can do today, make a little bit of cash flow, not our main long-term projected cash flow, but still a little bit of cash flow, and you still have a bunch of money to continue shopping, continue investing, right? So essentially, I've given you two properties here, I have very, very, very similar numbers, but two completely different acquisition strategies, right? I think both could work for you well, but as I said, after you gave me your feedback, the feedback from the first video, the quad, uh, and how you wanted to be in these types of neighborhoods, you know, and I said earlier in the in the first video I did for you today, I want to give you multiple options to, to, to comb over and figure out what strategy works best for you. So I like both of these, but of course it's your business. I want to give you as many options as possible, so I'm doing one more for you today, and I'm going to do that one right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.